All right, I've got three interfaces on this switch, two of them blinking green, one of them amber. What's going on here? By the time we're done here, we will see two commands that allow you to see the status of each interface of your switch. I will tell you one thing. As you get into this Cisco world, you will never be for lack of information that you can get. Cisco devices, switches, and routers have a bajillion show commands and debug commands that can give you a ton of information on just about everything you would ever want to know. The challenge is, which command do you type and how do you sift through all the information to get exactly what you're looking for? That's why I decided to break this video apart from the rest and show you two specific commands that are used all the time because you're often wanting to know what is the status of the interfaces on my switch. These two commands can do exactly that. The first command happens to be my favorite command in all Cisco, show IP interface brief. Now usually when I type this command, I'm after two things. One, what interfaces does this device have? Second, what IP address is assigned to each one of those interfaces. That's really useful for a router. Now, when you're talking about a switch, usually the switch, unless it's a layer three switch that's also doing routing, usually a switch will only have a single IP address assigned to the interface. That IP address is used to manage the switch. So I can Telnet or SSH to it remotely and manage it from a different location. All of the individual interfaces down here do not have IP addresses. So that's not really my focus. I can see the interface identifier. I'm more focused on these two columns right here, the status and the protocol. You can see both of them are up and up. This is essentially layer one and layer two of the OSI model. So I can see I have three interfaces right here, fast ethernet zero slash one through three. Then this interface down here, fast ethernet zero slash 13 which I can see are verified right here, one, two, three, and then there's 13, which is my computer plugging in over on the right-hand side. And all of those are shown as up. Now, I know you're thinking, well, wait a sec. When you started that first, that first, that, that, the third port was actually amber. What, what was wrong with that? Well, that's one of the things I want to show you because it causes, if you, if you uh, search for amber port on Cisco, you will see so many po uh, posts on this. When you first plug a port in, it will be amber for about 30 seconds. You see that light turning on right here. That is a function of spanning tree protocol, way beyond what I wanna talk about right now, but I'll just show it to you. Show spanning tree, hit the enter key, and you can see that right now, fast ethernet zero slash three is actually in what's known as a listening state. It's listening for something known as BPDUs. Oh, <laughs> we, we can talk so much about that, but that's gonna come later. After about 30 seconds, it's going to go through all the spanning tree states, and you can see it just happened right there. Flip from amber over to green. That's normal. Don't post to Cisco about it. Don't file for tech support. I'll show you all about that when we talk about spanning tree. The second command I want to show you is a little more preferred by most people when they're working with switches. It is show interface status. This gives you a similar view of what we just saw, but it's a little more concise. You can see that we've got fast ethernet zero slash one, the name, which is gonna be a big deal. I'll show you that in a second. The status, you can see it's connected right here, what VLAN it's a member of, and then right here we have our duplex and speed. This is actually gonna be a topic a little bit later in the skill where I talk about one of the most common things that used to happen in switch environments, and that was speed and duplex mismatches. As you can see right now, both of these are set to a-full, A-100. That means it's set to auto-detect, and it detected a full duplex connection. It's set to auto-detect, and it detected a 100 megabit per second connection. The reason this command is a little more preferred is because it shows the name of the port. What is that? That is the description. Watch this. I'm going to go into, well, first off, let me type in a command. Uh, you may have seen this one before. I've shown it a couple times, uh, but if this is your first time, uh, this is a great command, show CDP neighbors. CDP stands for Cisco Discovery Protocol, and that is what Cisco devices are directly plugged into this switch. I can see that this switch is connected to AZ switch 02 and AZ switch 01 on interface fast ethernet zero slash one and two, and then I'm connected to an access point called Panetta AP102, and that's simply because I bought it from eBay and I haven't cleared off the config, so whoever Panetta is, is the one that, or Pinetta, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, is the per people that owned that before. So I'm gonna 
go into global configuration mode and access interface fast ethernet zero slash one because I want to show you what that name field is right here. It's actually governed by the description. It is such a good practice to always go under your switch ports for the ones that are going to stay that way and put in descriptions. I'm not saying descriptions like Bob, Sally, things like that. I'm talking about descriptions like this is the connection to AZ-SW01FA2-0-1. Now, how did I know that? Well, I looked up here at the show CDP neighbors, which shows not only the local port, but the remote port that I'm connected to. Hit the enter key, and now when I come back here and do a show interface status, I can see that I, well, I've got a, a, a shorter name that would be needed for this, but I can see that this is connected, you know, and by the way, I, I let me show you a real, a real name. You would do uh, config T interface fast news uh, description, and I would do AZ-SW01-FA2-0-1. I'd probably even do that without the quotes. Quotes are needed if you want to have spaces in the name. So I'm going to go back to, to privilege mode, do a show interface status, and you can see how handy this can be if you've got a whole bunch of interfaces with the correct status, you can get a quick pulse of exactly what's up, what's down. That's when I can look here and go, oh, right now it's not connected. So the, the link is down from my switch over to this switch right here. Such handy commands to be able to see exactly what's going on and get your next step forward in troubleshooting. You've now seen two commands that allow you to see the status of each interface on your switch. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.